many people I've found uh, who have been sexually abused in the past have uh, this particular injury that I also have. And it's an injury where you desire, you, you actually desire the other person so much that you give everything you possibly can give to the other person. But because of your own law of attraction, they don't give everything they could possibly give to you. And in regard to the sexual injuries, um, there is a deep feeling inside of me at times of a real se a sexual neediness that really um, comes from this feeling that, t that if I'm not loved sexually, then it means I'm not loved at all. And of course, someone loving you sexually is a, is a part of your complete development. This injury, for most people, comes from their childhood where both parents or one parent doesn't love themselves sexually and has completely embroiled themselves, if you like, in the other person's life. Completely submitted to the other person in, in a sexual way and, and but does not have any concept of love of self in the relationship. So my big issue myself is, is dealing with this issue of not loving myself sexually, but actually loving the other person and expecting, in fact, nothing at all. And, and not that you will expect. When you're at one with God, of course, you won't expect anything from someone else. But there's this feeling in me of expecting the same in return. And that causes me then to go through lots of grief when I don't receive the same in return. So how many of you have experienced that kind of feeling? Yeah, so quite a lot. So this is a really big uh, problem, I suppose you could say, in sexual relationships. And um, what I've had to do working through it is I've had to deal with a lot of grief uh, about how I perceive myself um, in terms of how I perceive my own body and my own uh, feelings that uh, of not loving my own body, but also deep feelings of, uh, of um, not shame, but deep feelings of unworthiness about, about the sexual relationship. Feeling that, that the feeling inside of me is that the woman that I love will never be able to love me sexually. That's the feeling that I have. And, uh, and so, so no matter, there, there are other women I know that I, if I loved them, they'd love me sexually. But it's always this feeling in me that the woman I choose will not do that. The woman I love will not do that. And ironically, that's uh, generally what's happened, of course, because of the law of attraction. Uh, now, um, I still haven't got to the bottom of that feeling. So there are times when there's, when, when there's feelings that Mary has that triggers me, and, and I just feel this terrible, overwhelming feeling of, like, I'm never going to be loved sexually, I'm never going to be desired sexually. And because that's such a core injury within me, I then feel, well, well, I'm never going to be desired at all. And I go down that track of feeling that emotionally, feeling like, like in the end, um, like, no matter what I do, and no matter what kind of person I become, and no matter how handsome I look, or no matter how good I get my body to look, that she's just not going to want me anymore. So it's just this terrible feeling of just no, not being wanted by the person that I love. And, uh, and then there's this temptation at times to actually get into <coughs> anger with that. Do you know what I mean? Like, to feel angry with the other person. Why can't you love me? Why can't you? So if, whenever you, if any of you get into this trap of going to the other person, why can't you do whatever, straight away you're getting away from the, your own your own situation, your own emotions. And so when I notice myself doing that, I always try to kick back into, all right, there's something going on within me, what's happening within me to cause me to feel so bad, to feel that bad. Over a period of about three months, I cried uh, for four or five hours a day uh, on this matter. And, and I got eventually down to some really basic core emotions. And, and one of them was this just terrible feeling inside of me that I was nothing. Um, and, and if a person was distant from me sexually, that meant that they felt I was nothing. And, um, and all that was doing was, was triggering this emotion inside of me that I am nothing. Uh, and so uh, once I got to the core of that, things, 
started changing for me quite a lot in terms of feeling that emotion and working through that emotion. But I've still got some of the issues there and I can feel uh, some of it is about um, throughout my life um, in the last 2,000 years, there's been a lot of projections of me from women about being the ideal man. Um, but it's, a lot of those projections have been sexual in nature, which I've always repelled. But once I reincarnated, this feeling w was very, very strong. And I used to have problems even like if I was walking along a beach or down uh, along a frontage where, like, you know how you, you have streets, well, where I grew up in Adelaide, you have these streets down by the beach that, where there's pubs all the way along the street sort of thing, and then the beach in front and things like that. And, and so if I walked along the beach in front of the pubs and there are any women there projecting sexually, I would just, like, freeze and I'd have to go get away from that. I'd just have to leave that. Uh, because I just felt so stressed out and panicked by that, by that, by those projections, and so there's a lot of things involved in this particular injury for me that um, I'm still working through. What it's done for me is it's meant that I have a tendency to give everything of myself to the other person, and in the, and also in the same uh, breath, hoping that they will do the same with me which of course they never do, and that then triggers the emotion. So this emotion that I've given all of myself, but they don't want to give all of themselves to me because of who I am. So it always gets back for me down to this, this issue of it's because of who I am that they don't want to do that, but that my partner doesn't want to do that. And it gets back to, for me, it gets back to the fact that, and trust me, if you're Jesus, nobody wants you. In, <laughs> um, because um, that's the feeling I have, is that everyone has sort of set me up to be this virginal male who doesn't, doesn't, want, um, who doesn't want sex, who doesn't want any sexual attention, and um, they're equate, they equate pure with no sexuality, and there's lots and lots of those kind of projections. Um, and and that, that in itself has created inside of me lots of emotions about in my response to that that have caused me to detune a lot from other people's projections of me. So the truth is I don't even notice now and um, well I should say I didn't notice all the time growing up any person's sexual projection at me. So my mother would often say to me something like oh that girl was really interested in you and I'll say, what? Like, nah. <laughs> you know? and, and I just couldn't connect with that at all. And it's only been until I was open emotionally, started opening up emotionally about 11 years ago or so, that I started to even notice somebody even projecting that emotion at me. Before then, I was so detuned from it that I wouldn't even connect with it at all. And so I'm still, like I said, I'm still working through the injury. The injury affects me sexually in the sense that I want to give all the time sexually, but I don't want to receive very much. And so, uh, and and my law of attraction, of course, is that um, the woman generally that I'm with doesn't want to give to me very much either, because of that law of attraction. And so, uh, so in my life sexually, what I've, what's happened for me is that I've given a lot, but not received very much sexually, and in particular that. The feeling that I'm looking at from the woman is this feeling of complete love. So it always gets back for me down to this loss, this terrible feeling of a loss of my soulmate, like this loss of my soulmate love. And, and, um, and that feeling of loss, uh, the feeling of loss of her um, also has another feeling associated with it of um, feeling like I did something wrong to lose her, like um, that. Um, because of a choice that I made, I lost her and I'm never going to get her back, uh, is the feeling that I have. And so, so that feeling is, a, is one of the deepest emotions underneath this, this emotion that's driving me sexually. And so um, I'm still uh, trying to allow myself to connect to that emotion. And that's why there's a movie called The Notebook. Any of you have seen that? Yes. I've watched it 19 times now. Um, the first time I watched it, um, 
I, I, it took me about a week and a half to watch. Because what I, what I do when I watch a movie is as soon as something triggers me, I stop the movie and I go off and process. I've dropped out. I've dropped out. because there's no more battery, I don't think. Okay, we're back in the air, I think. Wow. That's a fair bit louder. Yeah, so, um, as you can see, the problem was I'm not receiving. <laughs> not allowing myself to receive. And, and, and so, sexually, um, the women with me generally have been pretty happy. But, uh, but, I've often, but I've often felt quite unfulfilled. And, uh, and, and the core emotion underneath that is this terrible feeling that I've actually done something wrong to deserve that. Um, and so that's one of the emotions that I'm working through. Um, so that, there you go, I've said something about me. <laughs> Who's coming up to say something about me? 